What's up guys, Ranger here, and I'm back with a very late uh, reaction video, which is to the brand new, which is to the last episode of MLP so far of the half season, uh, which is Do Princess... What is the name of the episode? Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep. Okay. And uh, let me go ahead and get it back. Okay. Now, again, I'm really sorry for the late reaction to this. I know it's been incredibly late. And uh, I really, really apologize, but better late than never. So let's go ahead, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with the episode. And I will hold my tongue regarding Spike in this episode because I had a couple people uh, tell me that this. So, like I said, I'm not going to say a word about it, about him, regardless whatsoever. Let's go ahead and get on with the episode. Shall we start the video in three, two? Wait, this is episode twelve. Uh, thir 13? 13? Right. I believe it's 13. Yeah. Starting the video in 3, 2, 1. Click. Luna. Luna! Wait. Wait, is. Greetings, Tantibus. I am ready. Do your worst. Who? Tantibus? I. 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 Oh, my. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh boy. The elements of harmony. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yay! We get to see this back. We get to see them like that again. Luna! Oh my gosh, Luna's- oh my- The dream ended happily? That cannot happen! Okay, 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 uh, okay, I'm skipping the intro, but again, so much- Already, there's so much for me to say. First of all, love the- the- the day- love- I love the- I love- I love the room decor. Luna has very good taste. Now, second, um, is it's very, very interesting to finally, finally see Luna having a dream herself, and especially it being a nightmare. I've always had like the back of my mind that maybe Luna is sometimes constantly plagued mentally by her actions in the past. This is proof of that. <laughs> yeah, oh, that she. Thanks for setting all this up. Tang! A grooming day for a pet. You're back. Really was a great idea. So was this episode set before? Oh, Bad idea to do to cat. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get my normal beauty sleep last night. You know. Oh, I can relate I to that. Sleep well either. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I'm totally beat. <laughs> <laughs> right, I wish I was like picky breakfast. on that. <laughs> Ow! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! I guess I'm too plump tuckered out to do this right. <laughs> I even went to bed early last night, but then I had a really scary nightmare. Me too! You, only, you know, I didn't oh boy. that scary. Well, mine sure was. There was a blue smoke monster and... <laughs> I dreamt about a blue smoke thingy too. Me too! So what? Probably just a coincidence. Nope. Huh. I wonder why I didn't have that nightmare. I slept great. So then, what could have given us all the same nightmare? I don't know, but I do know who might. Spike, could you send a scroll to Princess Luna? Sure. I'll set. Luna can definitely help. Princess Luna. Last night, my friends and I all dreamt of a creature made of blue smoke. I'm sure you're very busy, but... When you have the chance, please let me know if you have any idea what it could mean. Yours? Ah, oh, Princess Twilight Sparkle. You can leave out the yawns. Which of 
you saw the creature of blue smoke in your nightmare. That wow, that was fast. She just broke a new yeah. Academy record. Not me. Ugh, we no. know. So you've encountered the smoke Busy. monster too? The Tantibus is a creature of my Tantibus. nightmares. It escaped from my slumbers yesterday. But how did it get into ours? The Tantibus is like a parasite. My dreams must no longer be enough for it. Now huh? it seeks others to infect and corrupt. You must have learned oh. a few six from seeing you in my dream. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're saying is you dreamt about all of them and not me. The salt smoky gave us bad dreams. No big Desi is adorable in this episode. I saw that the Tantapus had grown more powerful, but I did not realize that power was enough to enable it to escape my dreams. If its power grows. It could very well find a way to escape into the real world. It could turn all of Equestria into a living nightmare. So is it what turned you into Nightmare Moon? Okay, okay, okay. I take it back. That does sound bad. Really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so is that what... We've prepared everything I saw the exactly comic. as you requested. Good. Oh boy. As you six slumber here... I will pursue the creature into whichever of your dreams it infests. Okay, I love the fact that they're doing Just this. Like a princess sleepover! Speaking of princesses, aren't you gonna ask Celestia for her help as well? Uh. There is nothing my sister can do. She has no power in the realm of sleep. Right. And I can move from dream to dream. I am afraid no pony can help me tonight. Even us? Especially you. You have all suffered so much because of me. You need only slumber while I hunt the tangibles in your dreams. Right. I know you said no <laughs> pony. Cute Luna. But I'm no pony. Do it. I'm gonna stay up and watch over you guys just in case. Oh, thank you, Spike. <sighs> One good thing about not sleeping well last night. Shouldn't be too hard to fall asleep now. Are you kidding? This is so funny. I don't know how I'm ever gonna. I'm wondering how many of these images from this episode are going to be put on Derpy Brew under the tags behaving like cats. I'm so glad that Luna's getting an episode. I salute the new Lunar Republic. Yes, I'm also for the Solar Empire too, I salute that. But I love the, I love the new Lunar Republic. Oh, interesting. This is simply divine. We have crossed the realm into Fantasia. Uh oh, wait. I'm wondering if that's what possessed Luna before and turned her into Nightmare Moon. French. I love it. It is here. So how can you defeat it? It's a dream. How can you defeat it in this realm? I'm curious. Please, I don't want you to suffer any more because of me. Luna, catch it. I love this. I love this episode. But I'm wondering, does Tanta? Hmm. It has jumped into another dream. I'm sorry, but if I am to stop it, I must follow it where you cannot. Go. I'm wondering. Pinky. Of course! It's only logical that Pinky could do that. I followed the Tantibus here. Now I need only find. Sorry, can't help it. An idea pops into my head and oh. hey. Even So Pinky has the capability to time travel even in her dreams. Ew, hey. Oh boy. The jumping out of a princess jumping out of a cake deal, yeah, I can only imagine whenever that's... I'm... I know this is gonna be artwork of that. Did I miss Derpy there? Oh my gosh! Oh, that tag on Derpy Brew behaving like a cat, that's going... Oh my... Monty Python. Monty Python! Oh my gosh! Oh, thank you, Prince 
Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hmm. Now this is what I call an incredible I'm wondering, drink. does Tantibus have a real form? Or is this its real form? I bet the only way that they're going to be able to actually capture it or defeat it is in Luna's own dream. Changelings? Of course, Rainbow dreams that she's awesome. I can see the Tantibus has already turned your slumbers into a nightmare. What are you talking about? This is my favorite dream. <laughs> oh, there she This is her nightmare here. I'm seeing resemblance to Powerpuff Girls here. Twilight is yet Master Yin said in this realm. Super Mario 64 flashbacks, the books that come out of the bookshelves. It can't be sealed. Ow. Where's Luna? I love the continuity in this. As long as none of you dreamt about another pony, the Tantibus remains confined to your dreams. I still have a chance to catch it before it's too late. Phew, that's good to hear. Although after you left, I did happen to dream that I was eating a giant ice cream cone with all pony though while taking a test we had to study for. See, what I tell ya, every pony makes mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> this is it not... Gives it more and more power. Soon it will be able to escape into the real world and infect It's almost like a dream succubus, brain. isn't it? Then you must let us help you stop it before that happens. But how? The Tantibus was able to escape Luna when it only had six dreams it could get to. Mm. It is true. With so many Limit it. to hide in, I do not know how I could catch it. Mm. What about limiting it what to if one? Every pony in Ponyville were having one dream. I or everybody, or every pony in Ponyville yes. was wonder, so was awake except for once, one. Then it would only have one dream like to go to. The amount of power it would take. Well, it is worth a try, isn't it? Of course. I will do anything to end this, including accept your help. I cannot allow the Tantibus to escape into the real world. All of you must now go back to sleep. And hope <laughs> that I can't yeah, so have such a dream. So easy. Hang on, let me get my dough roller. Or my frying pan. Whoa! Wow, Ponyville's beautiful at nighttime. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is Derpies! Derpies! Oh my gosh, this is Derpies! Nope, I guess not. Bonbon! Oh my! Oh! I can only imagine. Uh, Princess Luna did it! She's lit. She's just lit. <sighs> Big, Big Mac. Mac. The irony. See something familiar. That ain't Big Mac. Ponies! Princess 
Raindrops! Colgate! Colgate, what are you doing here? She's not strong enough. She's using all of her, all of her power to to blend the dreams. What's wrong? It is taking all my strength just to hold this massive dream together. You will have to stop it. But how? I wish I did not have to ask this of you. Then you're in luck. You don't have to ask. You don't have to ask. Whoa! Okay. Uh. Please, I'll pay you anything. Dude, seriously. <laughs> and the shipping has started. Slap label on. What I was going to say, slap a label on it and put it in a mailbox. You can do anything in a dream, it's shipped. Remember? He's going to turn into an alicorn, isn't it? Oh, he's an alicorn, of course. Everybody's an alicorn. <laughs> he's having way too much fun out of this. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. If he can turn into an alicorn, then all of you can. And it'll grow powerful enough to escape into the real world. How are we even gonna know when it's able to escape? I think you just found out. Oh, I think we'll know. That'll work. Hmm. How can you defeat it? Do a barrel roll! How can I help? Because in the dream world you have power? We've all got to work together to stop it from escaping! But how can we help? No pony in Ponyville has your magic or your speed! It's a dream! That's true! In Ponyville? But this hair isn't Ponyville! Right! It's a dream! He's having way so much! Way too much fun! Dream. Might as well dream big, right? Derpy! Wow. <laughs> Derpy! Lyra Mama, oh my, that's actually cute, but oh yeah. Shipping! Derpy! Why did I think of Scrooge McDuck right there? Of course! Of course! Oh yeah! It's working, but it's not enough. She liked that cosplay, didn't she? Then do more. This is a dream, remember? Oh my gosh! Of course! Oh my gosh! We're seeing this come back. The power ponies. I don't think Luna's going to be able to hold up very much longer. Monty Python, attack! Yeah, I know that's not direct. Luna, stop blaming yourself. Uh oh. Wait a minute. I think it's beating up your guilt, Princess Luna. If that is so, then perhaps that is how it grew strong enough to escape in the first place. 
So she st is still. So she is still toward Whoa Boy. That was I, I was getting ready to say that. Oh boy. You're gonna have to forgive yourself. You're not like you were. You're not the same pony you were then. Everybody's Only forgiven you. Knows you knows that Nightmare Moon is in the past. We all trust you, Luna. Do you trust us enough to believe we're right? I do. New day dawns. Luna did it! She sure did. Only, I'm not exactly sure what she did. Luna absorbed the power. Luna was to punish herself. The worse she felt, the more power it had. But once she finally <coughs> forgave herself for what Nightmare Moon did, poof! Oh. Wonder what she's dreaming about now. <laughs> oh wow. Oh that is gorgeous. That make that beautiful background right there. Beautiful background. Okay, now. <clears throat> now. <clears throat> now. The season hiatus has officially started and I got to cut this to do the comments. Well, the season uh, the season hiatus has officially started as of now, of course, um, and now we've got, <clears throat> uh, <coughs> pardon me, now we must wait probably until December, maybe, November, December, maybe January, February, before we get to see the new season, but the episode itself, I love this episode, I really love this episode because many different things are, I mean, many, it, the continuity with Luna, and going back to whenever she, I mean, focusing on the guilt that she felt for her actions before, of allowing herself to become Nightmare Moon, it's really interesting, and <clears throat> I said once, I had always, in, I had always myself had the thought that, like, you know, that I believe that Luna and Celestia are both still mentally tor tormented over their actions. Luna for allowing herself to become Nightmare Moon, and Celestia for having to banish her sister. And that they, in, inside that, you know, whenever they see the other ponies, that they somewhat put on a mask to hide that hurt and that constant torturing and pain that they continue to suffer. And that it's a matter of them forgiving themselves for that. And this episode, <clears throat> this episode pretty much focused on that, or for Luna, anyway. Um, for Celestia's hurt, we have we have lullaby for for uh, Princess, but in this right here episode, we got Luna. <clears throat> and it's really cool because I'm really glad that Luna finally got an episode focusing on her somewhat. I mean, it it's great to finally, to, I mean, for, for the Princess of the Night or the dream guardian um, that I just came up with that um, to finally get a little bit of time in the spotlight and I'm really glad that Luna finally got some time with that and it's really cool now I mean like I said it was a really beautiful episode because 
it focused on Luna having to deal, I mean, she revealed that she has, con I mean, like in the past year in <clears throat> Equestria's time, five years for us, uh, have been mentally tortured over the over what had happened in the past, and she has constantly been tor haunted by her actions and has I mean didn't feel that she deserved the forgiveness I guess that everybody had given her and that she I mean she created that as a means of self punishment of self torture so that she would never forget what had happened before and she would never allow herself to be able to become Nightmare Moon again. And so for a whole year she's been torturing herself every single night. Wow. <clears throat> Whenever you think about it like that and like the same like having a creature torment you every night for a whole year because I mean that my gosh. I'm really glad that Luna finally at the end that she finally got the final the final chapter of redemption of forgiveness that she sought or rather not that she saw it but she felt that she did not she felt that she didn't deserve and now it's I mean everybody forgave her and she saw that like she wasn't the same person what had happened before I mean in one of the IDW comics we see that uh, I mean that Nightmare Moon was actually a sort of spirit that ended up possessing rarity at one point um, how canon that is with the show and vice versa I don't know but I, for me, that's sort of a belief, is that Nightmare Moon was sort of a bit of an entity that, that possibly took control of Luna and it began to feed off of, her, off, of her, off of her envy. And it helped that to grow and ended up taking possession of her. Uh, that's sort of a theory that I have. Of course, I also believe the concept that maybe Nightmare Moon became was what Luna became and that it was sort of a manifestation of that envy that she felt. So, but to finally see Luna get that final chapter, the final page in that redemption, and now she's finally able to rest. She's able to fully <clears throat> live in peace. I mean, she's able to be at peace with herself for what had happened before. and. I mean, I think, th I mean, it, it, it's honestly relatable with what Luna done because, I mean, I, I know there, I know there are some people that constantly, that <clears throat> over an action that they've done in the past, they constantly torture themselves with it because they, they don't want it to happen again and they want to constantly torture themselves as a reminder to never let it happen again and a reminder of the bad decision that they made. I know there are some people that actually do that and whenever you finally get that redemption and you allow yourself to be able to be at peace and it's really a huge relief and for Luna to finally be able to get that I mean it was really I loved it that she finally got that peace and um, the story was really great I mean we got to see a Luna focused episode this season and um, we also got to see the continuity with her with her mental and emotional torture that she had that she had been enduring since since season one uh, five years for us again one year for within the show's hot timeline uh, and we got to see her having to deal with that and have, having to accept that and finally she got to I mean finally she she got redemption she got forgiveness and realized that she didn't need to torture herself anymore that she I mean that she's not no longer the same person and or rather or the same pony that Nightmare Moon was and I mean you could see it I mean the hurt that she felt that she had betrayed everybody again and it was something that she couldn't help and um, then finally now she I mean at the end it was adorable and I mean to see her finally relaxing and to finally be able to be at peace and like her f first prob pro probably her first real good night's sleep in a whole year and <clears throat> so again I really love this episode and it's also it also was really cool to be able to see them within within the dream realm and <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> like 
it's been said before, and it was kind of said here, that whenever you dream that you have power, you have control because it's your dream. And that is isn't always true, but I do have to disagree with that. Um, not discrediting it or, you know, the writers or anything, but, you know, there are times whenever you have a dream and you don't have any control over what happens in it. You can't control it. It just plays out and you have no control over it. And I think maybe it could be only whenever you know that you are dreaming. You dream that you know you're dreaming. Do you actually have control over it? Otherwise, your mind just goes into that into that state and picks memories and thoughts, constant uh, nagging thoughts or emotions or something that is that is in your mind and just puts it weaves it together to create the, either a dream or a nightmare. And dreams are a lot of times manifestations of desires, goals, nightmares, things that just happen. This I can so I'm really really interested and love the fact that they touched upon that in this. I mean, it, to be able to see it put into this, it's beautiful. I love it. And then, like I said, I love the story. The story was great. We finally got to see a Luna-based episode. We got to see uh, we got to see another, which happened also to be a continuity-based episode with Luna having to deal with what with her actions in the past and her finally being able to finally being able to forgive herself for what happened and so I love this episode it was really good I loved it we got to see other continuity callbacks with the power ponies with uh, the with the character transformations whenever they got uh, after they got after they unlocked uh, the box or the chest we got to see that and uh, we got to see some pony cuteness in there uh, as well and um, we got to see Derpy we got to see Derpy come back and there was a couple of references in there. I don't think that they were direct references to things like Monty Python or Scro Scro Scrooge McDuck. But being, I mean, but I could not help but see that. So it might not have been a direct reference, but it did cause my mind to go into that territory. So it was an indirect reference and it was beautiful. So again, absolutely love this episode. And for the final episode in the half season, I think it was a great episode to end it with. I mean, it's sort of a very calming, soothing concept to, like, just relax. You know, like, with that final scene of Luna, getting the sleep that she finally deserved, and beautiful background, I have to say. And finally, we get to see that, and I think it was a great episode to end the half season with. And uh, I, I'm, I know that Starlight Glimmer will return, uh, obviously, uh, later on this season I'm guessing most likely in the final episode but um, again I love this episode it was a beautiful episode it was really it was a cute episode and it touched upon some things that I myself really find fascinating so uh, thank you guys again for joining me oh uh, well first thank you to everybody that worked on this episode another great episode uh, loved it and uh, thank you guys again uh, thank you again to everybody um, for uh, for watching and also thank you to everybody that has constantly been requesting that I do this episode. Finally got it out. Again, I'm so sorry for, for doing it late, but better late than never. I hope you guys enjoy the reaction, and as far as the episodes go, I'll see you guys again whenever the half season is over. But don't worry. No, 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 no. no I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be here, but I mean, with reactions to the episodes, I will see you guys with the next episode whenever the heck it comes out. But as far as other episodes, I'm going to keep rolling those out with Disney, with uh, with other Disney things and other MLP-based animations and other original animations. So there's plenty more to come along, and uh, there's also a couple of other things that I have planned that I splurged on, and uh, you you you'll find out what it is later on. So uh, I'll see you guys again next time with the next video that I do. Take care.